uh, Peter Yeager's uh, Holy Basil. Three beads from a Tulsi Mala. Sacred Basil is also known as Tulsi, and wearing a 108 bead Mala made from Tulsi roots is auspicious. Edmund Ehe. And in his hands, a long wooden string of Buddhist rosary beads, which he keeps moving. I ask him which mantra he is doing, but he tells me, in Zen, you don't have to bother with any of that. You can just play with the beads. Mm. Joanne Kiger, Philip Whalen's hat. One, two men meet in a room. They bow to each other. The short man performs, and the tall man asks him a question. His reply, first, I fill an earthenware bowl with fresh water. Then I wash my hands and face. I break the bowl over a pile of basil leaves. I let the water soak through all of the leaves until they are entirely saturated. I position them around my head so that I am unable to see, smell, or hear. The tall man rings a bell, and after bowing, the short man leaves. 77. Two men meet in a room. They bow to each other. The short man performs, and the tall man asks him a question. His reply. The ritual lighting of lamps each evening includes the worship of the Tulsi plant, which is held to be propitious for the home. The tall man rings a bell, and after bowing, the short man leaves. 106. Two men meet in a room. They bow to each other. The short man performs, and the tall man asks him a question. His reply, I and or you, racking brains, we sleep on it, plant a seed, chew some cud. Hey, is that a so-called we that's chewing, or maybe just an I and a you, and anyway, we don't chew anything anytime, do we? The tall man rings a bell, and after bowing, the short man leaves. <laughs>